Hey guys, um, I haven't posted a video in a long while, sorry, and yeah, um, I got out of the pool and I had to brush my hair, but didn't want to forget to make a video, so it's Monday, it is the 4th of July, home alone with my dog, but I got new glasses, still look pretty ugly, Nothing's changed. So, I just wanted to talk about, um, cell phones real quick. Not trying to be like a mom who's like, oh, cell phones are bad. I think they're pretty great. Um, one thing. When you, 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 I know none of us drive at this age. Um, but for the people who do drive, um, why are you on your phones? That's what I'm really confused about. Uh, you might want to call your mother, you might want to call your father, you might want to do whatever on your phone, but do you really want to go on your phone and risk your life in other people's lives? Like, could you imagine, let's say, you're on your phone, you're texting, and you get in a car accident with someone who was a mom, the dad's at home, waiting for the mom and their baby to come home from, let's say, a doctor's appointment. Now, they're coming home, and they're getting ready to see Dad, and someone runs, them to, runs into them, and they're both dead. But to the person who ran into them to kill them is alive. And now they have to live with that grief, you know? The grief of saying, oh my god, I just killed a mom and a baby. Like, do you know how bad that would be? So I don't get the point of whying, of whying, mm -hmm, of why you, uh, there's fireworks going on. But what I don't understand is why, let's say someone texts you and they're like, oh, bro, you coming to the party? And you're like, yeah, bro, killed, done, you're done, you're done, you're done. To say, yeah, bro, you killed yourself. You legitimately are dead. You're done. And, you know, you might go to hell for that. Because you might have hurt someone else in the process. You. Ugh. I go on the highway almost every day to either go to work or, which I don't drive, obviously, or to go to a singing and piano lesson. See, now here's the thing. I count. I count how many people are either talking on the phone or texting or playing freaking Angry Birds or Flappy Bird because it's just horrible. So, to the people out there who are driving, texting, calling, playing Flappy Bird while they are driving on the flipping highway where there are babies, put your phone down. Before I take it, chuck it out the window, and make you run over it. Because I think, like, to all the people that are watching, don't you think it's a little freaking ridiculous how someone could be texting and driving and their full attention should be on the road and their surroundings around them, not what is going on in this little, tiny, little screen on this tiny, this tiny... This tiny little screen, or maybe you got, you got a big phone, maybe you got like an extra large phone, I don't really know. But would you really want to risk other people's lives and your life and whoever else is in the car with you for a freaking text message that could wait? Or you could just simply pull the F over. The reason I had to pull, pull the F over, because you need to pull the fudge over... We're not going to get any fudge. Rephrasing. Um, just don't text in general. And to all the kids out there that see their parents texting or calling on their phone. You know what you do? You look at them. Mom or dad, etc, etc. Say, guardian. Whoever it is. Replace that with mom, dad, Becky, Jimmy. I don't know. Oh, that hurt really bad. Guardian. 
get off your phone. And they'll be like, you're not in charge of me. You're the child. And I'm going to say, I don't care. You're putting my life at risk. You're putting your life at risk. You're putting everyone's life at risk. What's wrong with you? And they're going to go, well, I'm just calling grandma. Grandma can freaking wait. She can wait. Like, ugh. And then if they're, and then let's say that they're on their phone and they're just like, oh, hey, you going to the club tonight? Ooh, ooh. You got to go, uh-uh, the club can wait. And they're going to go, huh? And you're going to go get off the phone. You're risking my life, risking other people's lives. You're risking your life. And I'm pretty sure that if you go clubbing and you care all about that, you, you care about your life. So, you might want to get off the phone. Put your attention on the road. Whoa! How about you get off the phone? Frick. How about you put down the phone and pay attention to the road before you kill yourself and everyone around. Don't want to kill yourself. Because that's really bad. Just let's clarify. It's really bad. So... Just simply, like, you don't have to go all crazy and be like, get off your phone! No, you just gotta be like, hey, uh, can you please get off your phone or something? And another case scenario, let's say that you're in the car with someone else's parent. And, you know, grown-ups think it's rude if you speak up. But the thing is, is, uh, would you rather speak up and not die or die? I would rather speak up and not die. So if you're going to sit there and keep quiet while they're on their phone not paying attention, you should go, um, excuse me, sir, ma'am, whatever, Mrs. This, Mr. That, whatever. Go, um, can you please get off your phone? Um, it's not very safe if you don't have your full attention on the road. They immediately should say, oh, yes, I'm sorry. I'll call you later. Beep, boop. No, because they sometimes think that their call is more important than your life, their life, and everyone else's life, because they just do. And when you're on the phone, it doesn't occur to you that you're risking everyone's life. And being alive is priceless. You can take it away, but you can never get it back. That's the thing. Now, this is, like, the serious part. If you don't like the serious part, you can click off. But this is the serious part where dying... I'm trying to be serious. Can you please stop? Where you dying, you can't... You died. You can't come back to life. There is no such thing as you being dead... And you coming back. That's the thing. It's like you can leave a room and come back into the room. This world is your room. But once you leave this room, there is no coming back. Please, stop. So, just take into consideration other people's lives in your life because life is priceless i'm gonna go now because the fireworks are really annoying me um so um bye